Welcome back to my series, Dance Mums Uncovered. Throughout her entire time on Dance Mums, Melissa was portrayed as a very dishonest person. While some of her lies were very obvious and require no explanation, other lies were harder to identify because there is no proof to call them out besides the claims of other cast members. And there was more to Melissa than the producers cared to show. Feel free to share your thoughts on the following evidence. First, let's look at private lessons. The mums would constantly complain about Maddie having extra rehearsal time, putting her at an unfair advantage over the other kids. Well, it seems like there is finally evidence that can back these accusations up. Holly tweeted back in early 2014 that privates are limited and very hard to get at the ALDC. However, looking at the ALDC class schedule available online, in September 2011, Maddie might have had up to three privates a week. At this time, Maddie had a private on Thursdays, presumably with Matt Saffron, the ALDC tap teacher. There is also a schedule online which suggests that Maddie had a private on Fridays from 5pm until 5.45. And lastly, in the book The Maddie Diaries, Gianna reveals that she had a weekly private with Maddie on Tuesdays from 4 until 4.30. Apparently, the pair began doing these before the show began, and they continued until Maddie left the ALDC. It's understandable that with Maddie taking up so many private lesson slots, the other girls might have found it difficult to find times that worked with their busy schedules. I should point out that it's possible that some of these lessons might not have continued while the show was filming, since both of these schedules were written in September 2011, which was during the break between seasons one and two of Dance Moms. On Twitter, Melissa has insisted that it is Abby who ultimately creates the schedule for private lessons, not her. Whether this is true or not, it has become abundantly clear over the years that Abby would do anything to give Maddie advantages over other dancers. Next, let's explore some sneaky activities. This year, Abby shockingly confirmed that there were indeed secret privates that Maddie attended when she was supposed to be at school. She says Melissa would drive Maddie to the studio during recess, gym class or lunch to have private lessons and learn her solos for the competitions in advance. When, you know, a mother was willing to go get their kid out of school at lunch and gym and recess and bring them to the studio, learn half the solo, sneak them back without anybody on the TV show knowing, they learned half their solo. Well, no wonder they won. Many people, including the Zieglers themselves, have argued that the other mums should have just scheduled more privates for their kids if they wanted them to have more classes. This admission, however, proves that Melissa was willing to go above and beyond what everyone else was doing to keep her kids winning on television. It's really no wonder Maddie felt so much pressure to win. Furthermore, Abby confirmed in her Ask Abby show that Maddie used to have secret private classes with an acting coach before school. She says that Maddie would often come into the ALDC early in the morning to take these classes and would often be late for school because of it. My good friend, Minnie Rossi Stabler, uh, she is an acting coach in Pittsburgh. She used to work with Maddie and she would come in early, uh, you know, be late for school, come in, do the acting class, then leave, then go back to school. And it was like on the hush hush on the down low. Not only is it worrying that Melissa kept these things hidden from the other mums, but it is even more concerning that she showed very little commitment to her children's education. Evidence number three, studio finances. According to Abby and the other mothers from her studio, Melissa committed more than just her time and energy to the ALDC. At a 2015 meet and greet, Abby said that Melissa would not only help out at the front desk, but that she and her husband paid both their own bills and also helped other kids by paying their dance bills for them when they couldn't afford to. She further claims that Melissa's husband would also take Abby out to dinner. It had to be because Melissa was helping Miss Abby at the front desk. Right? Because Melissa's husband took Abby to dinner. Yeah, that's it. Because Melissa and her husband not only paid their bill, but they helped other kids out and paid their bills too. An anonymous person who was involved with the ALDC 
has publicly stated that the parents who gave Abby good Christmas gifts were often favoured. Not only this, but parents were actually asked to help pay the studio's bills in return for free dance tuition. It is widely believed that Melissa was one of these parents. Two former mums from the studio, Diane Pent and Dawn Check, have tweeted about Abby's financial struggles. Diane says that before the show, Abby wasn't able to pay her phone bill, electricity and gas bill, nor her studio's taxes. The anonymous source also claimed that the local sheriff would come to the ALDC to pin notes, warning Abby that unless she paid the taxes she owed, the business would close down. Dawn has stated that when this happened, Melissa was the one who wrote a cheque. Diane and another Twitter user have also claimed that Melissa paid Abby's mortgage on more than one occasion. On Twitter, Melissa said that she always pays for her children's private lessons. However, Abby has since told a different story. She seems to suggest that Melissa would write receipts, claiming that she had paid for someone else's tuition, but she actually never put her credit card through the machine. Had I not had the forensic accountant, I wouldn't know that somebody was nipping off the top. Oh, I paid so and so's attention, uh, uh, tuition. I paid their tuition because they were behind. So I just paid it. She cleans my house. I just paid her tuition. Yeah, you, you wrote yourself a receipt out, but you never put your credit card through the machine. And then you have your kids sign a 360 deal with me. They go to number one. Four, Melissa's competitiveness. Some of Melissa's co stars have spoken publicly about her but none of them have done so as often as Christy Lukasiak has. She says confidently that Melissa is much more competitive and a totally different mum when the cameras turn off. Christy further claimed that before the show, Maddie forgot a trio that she was performing with Chloe and Paige. Apparently, Melissa got really mad over the whole scenario. I just wish Melissa would be honest with the whole competition thing, because she always says, oh, it doesn't me, blah, blah, blah. But as soon as the cameras are off, she is a totally different kind of a dance mom. She's a stage mom, she'll do anything to get her kids ahead, but when the cameras are on, she always plays that, oh, I'm really nice and I just want the nicest things for all the kids. So it was the first trio that Paige, Maddie, and I ever did. It was called Eyes in the Back of My Head. First time they ever did it, they went out on stage, and guess who stopped in the middle of the stage, totally forgot her dance, and was like, didn't move. It was Maddie. And Melissa had a fit about it. During a bonus scene from Season 2, Episode 3, Christy talks about how Melissa responded to Chloe beating Maddie. She claims that she overheard Melissa asking if the judges were paid off. On Twitter, Christy elaborated, saying that Melissa marched up to the producers, asking them how much they had to pay for Chloe to win. She also goes on to state in this scene that she would never go to the lengths that Melissa does, such as when she takes judges out for lunch or producers out for coffee. Furthermore, she says she can't get private lessons for Chloe, even though she's willing to pay for them. In the Chloe and Christy special episode of season seven, Christy revealed that Melissa and Abby had a plan in place to make Melissa the most relatable mom on the team. While the other mothers wanted to wear nice clothes on television, Abby told Melissa to dress down, so she showed up in jeans and a t-shirt. This way, moms who watched the show could relate to her better than the other moms. The moms all came and we were dressed very cute because, you know, like, we're going to be on TV and this is very exciting. Except for one. All of a sudden, Melissa shows up in the most horrific mom jeans you've ever seen in your life. This pink t-shirt and, like, frumpy hair because Abby had told her, dress down so that she was more relatable on television. Overall, Christy has declared that she doesn't have time for fake people like Melissa who don't own who they are. And Kelly even seemed to agree saying at a separate event that Melissa is all right with hurting the kids as long as it puts her in Abby's good books. Finally, we have Melissa's wedding. The journey to Melissa's wedding to Greg Gisoni was made a lot rougher because of the way it was discussed on the show. Melissa has claimed that despite Christie's accusations, she never had an affair. When Melissa turned up to the studio wearing an engagement ring, the mums and Abby wanted to know all about it. Despite the fact that Melissa seemed uncomfortable talking about it on national television, they continued to pry. My significant other is going through a divorce, so I didn't feel that it was necessary to have it on TV. Even when she took the ring off, it still became the focus of their conversation. Despite what the show portrayed, Melissa insisted on Twitter that she told the mums about the ring the day she got it. 
She further stated that the whole lawsuit threat was scripted. However, Holly and Christy have confirmed that the lawsuit was very real to them. Holly even said that she got a call from her lawyer. Melissa went on to state that it was actually her boyfriend who got his attorney to send the mums the cease and desist letters. However, after being caught in the previous lie, she may not be a trustworthy source for this information. So what do you guys think? Do you think Melissa was actually as sneaky as the show portrayed her? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.